So how do, how do we intro? <laughs> what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna talk about five things you should know before buying a Mustang. So the first thing you should know before buying a Mustang is literally there is an excessive amount of body roll. Uh, first world problem. But I don't know, every time I take a turn in this car, I feel like my body is just like all over the place. So we're on a road right now with a couple of turns and I'm just gonna see if you guys can pick up how much body roll this gets. Yeah, there we go, sliding everywhere. No, it's just, that's really annoying and I wish I would have known that before I bought the car. Like literally my body is sliding on the seat. And I mean like I can hold myself in place, but it's like when you take a turn, I mean you take a turn, I I'm trying to not exaggerate this, but this is just kind of funny, actually. But like, that being said, I don't think you buy a Mustang for the handling portion. It's super comfortable, and I could totally drive this car long distances. Alright, number two, be ready for all the stereotypes. I bought my car about two years ago, and honestly, when I bought my car, like, no one said anything, or was there was none of those, like, Mustang memes, or people were giving people shit because they drove a Mustang back then. Within the past year, like, all these videos have popped up on Facebook of, like, Mustangs hitting crowds and crashing into people. And Honestly, this is why Mustangs have the stereotype that they do. Parents, don't buy your kid a rear-wheel drive car with 300 plus horsepower. We don't need any more Ken Blocks out there, 16-year-old Ken Blocks, like, drifting into people and stuff. Select group of people misuse the car and they try to push its limits when they do not know how to handle a car whatsoever. That's how you get all these videos from the internet that literally just give Mustang owners a bad name. Whether you should get a V8 or not and I drive a 2006 V6 Ford Mustang and just like if you enjoy cars I, I would get a V8. I honestly think that for the price you pay, you get a lot more horsepower per dollar ratio. After driving this car for about two years and driving a couple V8 Mustangs, I don't understand why I got a V6 Mustang. No offense to anyone out there who has a V6 Mustang or anything, like, I love this car. At least my generation of V6 Mustangs don't really cut it. When it comes down to it, I would just say get, get a V8 Mustang. Nothing wrong with a V6. I think the newer S550, I think it is, like the generation after this one, I think they come stock with like 315 horsepower for a V6, which that's crazy. I wonder if you guys can see my beard. Seriously, I don't know what is up with Ford, but I feel like Ford cars in general, this line between the rear bumper and the panel is, is huge and it really bothers me. I don't get it, man. Like right there too, like what is up with that? and it's literally everywhere, like even between the hood. I know every car has it, and I might just be exaggerating, but this gap is freaking huge. If you're buying a Mustang to carry more than one other person, that is a really bad decision because the back seats suck. <laughs> Never sat in the back of my car, I'm sorry. I, my head is pressed up against the glass right now. If you tilt your head all the way back, you have like a sunroof. This is me sitting forward and like, my head is through the roof. And one really cool thing about Mustangs is that it actually comes with like a ghost or something that closes the door whenever you leave it. All I can really say is if you're thinking about buying a Mustang and you care what people think about you, you're not gonna want a Mustang. People are gonna give you shit regardless of if you drive a V6, a V8, an EcoBoost, a new one, an old one, whatever. My homeboy, thank you so much for filming. I appreciate that. So I am selling my car within the next two weeks. My, my dad and I are both taking some time off to hopefully check out some dealerships in the upcoming weeks. So stay tuned for that. I'm trying to upload videos every week. So at most, there'll probably be one or two more videos with the Mustang. Let me know if you guys did enjoy a video like this or if you wanna see more in the future. Thank you again guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day. Peace out.